Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. This is Bernadette Goko Conley, and you are watching the BGC channel. Green, green, the color of the heart chakra, the spinning wheel of energy in our soul and spirit. Got on my emerald green headband and braid with motif of leaves before they fall to maximize the efficiency of the plant during the cold winter season. The sun is in the constellation of Scorpio, the scorpion hiding in the dark, observing, readying to protect itself and others from any threat with a disabling strike of its barbed, twisted stinger tail. I crocheted this headdress myself by watching a tutorial on YouTube knitting my hobby channel. It's a pattern of leaves lined up in a row and ending with these big fronds. I think I've shown you this you know, in previous videos, but I thought it was brilliant. Anyway, I coordinated, um, I coordinated with this beautiful blouse that I inherited from my late mom, Ludi, to go with a black velvet leaves pattern against the yellow, actually green rayon fabric. I put on my teal robe over it and my Irish scarf. To finish the look for a green heart chakra aura. Currently, I am working on another mandala for my chakra of chambers. Isn't it beautiful? I do this while watching the Wizard of Loops channel on YouTube. Thank you, Wizard of Loops, for sharing your knowledge and skill freely. Green is the energy color of the heart because it reminds us of the beauty of nature, the source of our basic needs and our desire to relax, refresh, and renew our faith in ourselves and others. Surround yourself with the color green today. I got my green coffee cup. Go out in nature. Walk barefoot on the grass of the field and feel the soft, cool blades between your toes. Hug a tree and caress its foliage. Visualize the color green emanating from the center of your being. Let me show you my chakra chart. This equilateral triangle I drew here represents you or me in a lotus position. And these are the Reiki stones that I pasted on this chart to show you how our energy centers, our spinning wheel of energies line up in our spine. The heart chakra, also known as the Anahata in Sanskrit, it means unhurt, unstruck, unbeaten, a pure heart is clean of all unrighteousness. 
it is located between the three lower chakras and the three higher chakras. So it's right here, right in the middle. It joins our carnal part with our divine part, bridging like the corpus callosum in our brain, the two sides of our being, the physical and the spiritual connection. The symbol for the heart chakra is the 12 petaled lotus flower with a hexagram in the center. Let me show you on my chakra shawl, the symbol for the heart chakra. A 12 petaled lotus flower with a hexagram in the center the hexagram is two interlocking triangles pointing, one pointing up and one pointing down. It symbolizes the power of the spirit and the power of matter coming together. It's the harmony of the feminine and masculine energies, the yin yang, the sun, the moon, the light and the dark. So each petal in the symbol of the heart chakra is a Sanskrit sound that carries energy in and out of the 12 petals in 12 directions, converging and diverging. The chi flowing freely through the channels of our body, connecting the chakras. In some tradition, the 12 petals represent fraud, lustfulness, indecision, hope, anxiety, repentance, possessiveness, incompetence, discrimination, impartiality, arrogance, and defiance. These are the mental states of awareness that we need to overcome in order to enjoy a happy and fulfilling life. Yam, yam, like the sweet potato, Y-A-M. Yam, yam, that is the mantra for the heart chakra like yang, the sun, the air, the breath, the light. So close your eyes, relax your mind by being conscious of your breathing. Breathe through your nose. Breathe out through your nose also. Observe the rise and fall of your chest and the beating of your heart as you inhale and exhale. Chant yum while you exhale and imagine the green light of the heart chakra radiating in all directions from the center of your being like golden green sun rays reaching far out into the universe, purifying all contamination, all pollution, washing away all impurities and cleansing all unrighteousness, exhaling to release all the natural negative human tendencies to the original state of awareness before you were born. The life affirming, self validating consciousness that you are one ray of light of the solar system. You are one with the universal consciousness of God. We are one. Visualize this pure white light 
returning to you, renewing your soul, revitalizing your spirit, and refreshing your being. Love, compassion, forgiveness, devotion, kindness, and connection to others. Love yourself, and that love will spread to all of creation. I leave you now with these Bible passages. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 5. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all things. Love conquers all. Corinthians chapter 13, Verse 13, and now these three things remain, faith, hope, love, but the greatest of these is love. Colossians chapter 3, verse 14, and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. So once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.